Basketball! Summary of the movie, we got a blonde haired guy by the name of Cooper, who's the main character. We got his best friend, who's a curly haired guy with the name of... His best friend, Doug Raymond, crazy afro hair. We got a love interest for one character. We got a bad guy character who's the... Just put my hand in front of Game of face so he can't see nothing! We got a bad guy character who's basically the rival corporation who wants to take over the whole corporate basketballness. And take away, yeah, what baseball is. Yeah. And he, and he puts the friends against each other and puts them on different sides and makes them hate each other. With, for money and things like greed. And he does that, that's basically the storyline for the movie, is that they have to... To win the next year's basketball game or else they lose the corporation because their owner, Mr. Leslo, Denslo, sorry, Mr. Denslo, <laughs> is, is he's dead, choked on a hot dog, as you do. Happens, it happens many times. You know, if you check up, if you look up hot dog deaths, there's a lot more mm. hot dog deaths than you ever heard of. Just saying this, someone watching this video right now is crying. <laughs> I remember when that happened to my uncle. <laughs> Jeffrey. Sorry about Uncle Jeffrey. So in the end, they end up winning. Friendship always prevails. Yeah, so they become friends again because they, of course, they were separated. They had different. Because moves. the little bitch Squeak gave him a beautiful speech yes. before flying through the air in a pineapple suit. In a pineapple <laughs> suit, which always is something. Yes, such, definitely it's, something. It's definitely something. Yeah, so they end up winning. He ended up getting the girl. Happy times, happy times. And a very disturbing part, they made out. Two best friends made out. Like that this. was shocking. <sighs> it brought back lots of Brokeback Mountain memories for me. <laughs> I felt dirty just watching the movie. I felt so dirty. I... I really should probably bark. I felt stupid because all the jokes were so stupid but I found them funny. I thought it was funny. I thought some parts of it were funny and just... It was that is, funny. It's just funny because it's so stupid. It is so stupid. It's so excitable! Like, <laughs> that, that's how exciting it was! It's in your face! The thing about the movie is that there's so many like little just jokes always going on. Like yeah. when they're moving the camera around, it's just like little random stupid things. Mm. And there's a few actual witty things in there too. It's mm -hmm. not just like completely dumb humour. If you can look past the dumb humour, you can actually see some little witty things that are in there. <gasps> Oh my god, my alarm's going off! Well, that was not awkward. <laughs> Did I like the movie? If you want something light that you can just throw on with some mates in the background, perfect movie for that. If you want to sit down and actually enjoy a movie, it's probably, probably not, maybe. I mean, it kind of gets a bit boring and Tyson. When it came out, it brought back in that kind of dumb 80s movie humour from back in like John Candy and stuff. Like, it was that kind of humour, I think. I think, anyway. That's what I think. Well, I liked it. It was easy to watch, which I always like, because of the stupid humour. Out of 10 Nikes, I like Nikes. Six, I guess. Out of 10 Unicorns, because oh. I like Unicorns. <laughs> Damn it, I want Unicorns now. <laughs> I give it 7 out of 10. 7 Unicorns seven and 6 unicorns. Nikes. So 6.5 Uni Nikes. <laughs> so that's our overall rating. This was our entry to City of Exonema. And it was basketball. That's basketball right there. Basketball. I'm gonna go outside in my driveway and play some basketball. And then we're gonna make me? billions. Pow! Oh, That's it. This video's over. No more. I'm gonna get myself a new best friend. You guys go back to your big fancy cars and your big bank accounts. Your stupid celebrity friends. Hot women. Victoria Silverstein.